This is some of the view that you see at 30 Majestic. So I'm right at the front door. And then this is where the 640 acre public land is at. So that was a school section of land that the state had developed way early on and pretty much it's only private access. But there is a gate right there that accesses that land. Really nobody else uses that gate except for one other homeowner. Um, you can see if I zoom in, there's a whole pile of deer there right now. Um, elk also go through that little section of land. So some pretty spectacular views all around the house. The siding is a pre-finished, low maintenance siding. It looks like it's all in really good shape. Just down the hill here, we have the septic tanks, the lids for the tanks. This is a propane tank right there, this green box. That's how you fill up the propane. And then that is the well head. Okay, so there's just some rocks, some little pavers that get you to the front door. This is the garage on this side of the house. And then a little bit of an overhang for a covered front deck. Okay, as you step into the house, um, so all the furniture on this main floor is pretty much going to be removed, or all of everything up here will be removed. There's a few things that are sentimental to them. So there's maybe some light fixtures that will get changed out. This apparently being one of them. So there will be a few changes um, in that space. This is the entry closet. So it's a big walk-in entry closet. So lots of space. Um, they're apparently very sentimental. So this was a different sink. That was a gift to them, so they are changing that sink out. So there is this half bathroom right off the front um, entryway. And then you open up to the living space. Beautiful fireplace with custom rock work. Giant windows. Here's the island. It is a solid surface countertop. So a really light color with some little flecks of color in it. A double oven. There's the microwave, refrigerator has a nice layout. So there's the ice machine inside the fridge so that you're able to get water and ice through the door. This one you can kind of set, customize what you're going to store in that drawer. And then this one says specifically the produce. Then your freezer on the bottom. The drawers are soft close. Lots of cabinet space. I prefer the single sink like this one is. And then you've got some great views out this direction. Big 36 inch range or cooktop I should say. Little dining room space here. So I think ideally at the front entry, that would be more your formal dining room space. Um, some nice big windows take in all the view. And then they have glass or plexiglass that goes around. So nothing blocks the view out here. This is all covered. And this is a Trex decking. So it is pretty maintenance free very quiet and peaceful. So there is this house that you can see a little bit. Um, the people that own this house were the developers of the subdivision. And so they were able to pick the best lot that's closest to where the school section is and where all the wildlife is located. Um, and then they also laid everything out so that you would have a lot of privacy not being right on top of your neighbors and other houses. Okay, so if we go back here is where the bedrooms are at. This is the master bedroom. So it has its own door out to the deck. It's a 
some nice big windows again. Master closet. It is good sized with some shelving built in. Okay. Then to the bathroom. I have the double sinks. Here's the clawfoot tub. Not technically clawfoot, I guess. Nice linen closet. Little toilet area. And then the tile shower. Okay, and then down the hallway, we have two more bedrooms and another bathroom. So this is the bathroom the guests would use. Also a nice tiled bathroom, nice tiled shower, I should say. Another linen closet. They did a really nice job of storage in this home. One of the two bedrooms. And they do have nice size closets. And here's the other bedroom. So this one is right by the front door. Um, there are no window blinds on these windows upstairs. So that is something to think about. It would be maybe be nice to have like a top down, bottom up type window blind and kind of cover. Cause when I came in the front door, the first thing you could see was the bed. Cause that's kind of at eye level. So maybe something on this window would be nice, but I would say leaving this window open without window coverings would also, that would be nice because you really don't have anybody looking in your windows out here. Okay, back through the kitchen. Okay, so this is the kind of mudroom area. Um, we have an office space nice windows in here and then the pantry it has a sliding barn door on the pantry little mudroom boot bench area laundry has a big nice deep laundry sink and then there's a three-quarter bathroom here for you know if you're out working outside you can quickly get cleaned up and not drag a mess through the whole house I'm going to show you the garage and then I'm going to start a different video for downstairs. So it is a three car garage. They've got a lot of storage in that third bay and there is a gas heater up here. Again, lots of big windows. So it's just nice to have some natural light that comes in.